So I read this article today. It's titled, Don't Ever Call Felicia Day Queen of the Geeks. There's nothing really special about it. It's more or less an advert for Felicia Day's new book. But one thing did catch my eye. The piece introduces who she is, what you might know her from, and says perhaps she's most well known as being Queen of the Geeks. Just don't ask her to use the title herself. That implies I represent everybody. And in life, I think you need to represent yourself, says the Los Angeles-based actress. Fantastic. I absolutely support that idea. You're you. I'm me. I'll be me, you be you. Unless we're not talking in general terms. Unless we're talking about something where we are a representative, officially, of something. Such a teeny, tiny statement. But it says so much. And it reminds me of something that Felicia wrote last year. Games are beautiful. They are creative. They are worlds to immerse yourself in. They are art. And they are worth fighting for, even if the atmosphere is ugly right now. A small minority are putting up barbed wire walls between us who love games. And that is sad, because odds are 99% certain that those guys on the street who I avoided would have been awesome to talk to. I realize that letting the actions of a few hateful people influence my behavior is the absolutely worst thing I could do in life, and not an example I want to set, ever. So to myself, and to everyone else who operates out of love, not vengeance, don't abandon games, don't cross the street. Gaming needs you to create, to play, to connect, to represent. Represent what? themselves? Or did she mean back then that people do need to represent gaming or gamers as a whole? You know, so that people won't think gamers are terrifying thugs who you need to cross the road to get away from. Because whoever is a gamer now is giving them that image through their representation. That's why you, the good people, the people who follow her, who read her, need to represent. She didn't mean, of course she didn't mean everyone should be treated as an individual. She just means she can be treated as an individual, because she's somebody. And you, you're nothing. She decides who you're associated with. She decides what you represent. She decides how things should be represented. Here's one more snippet from that New York Post article. A year ago, the Gamergate controversy, a vicious campaign of harassment against women over their growing presence in the video game world, blew up the internet. In her book, Day talks about Gamergate and the bigger issue of women being subjected to threats online. I've been knocked back when an avalanche of hate would hit me on the internet, she says. But she's not pessimistic about the future of female gamers. Women over 35 are a huge portion of the gaming population, she says. 20 years ago, it wasn't as diverse. Maybe it's just me, but it sounds like she cares a fuck of a lot about people not just representing themselves. At least, nameless schmucks not celebrities. Smush all these women into like some pasty meatball and say, look, 35%, boom, there you go. This is the face of gaming. They're not individual human beings, no, they're a number. Never mind their individual tastes, preferences, or thoughts. They are not famous. They don't get a voice. They don't even get to say, no, I only represent myself. You are a toy. You are a tool, in fact, for the big girl. But let's be honest, this doesn't really hurt anyone, does it? She's obviously trying to be positive. This is saying, look, this group of people are attached to something good. They are the face of something good, and I can just blob them there. Let's look at the other side of this kind of forced association. From that post Felicia Day wrote last year, I have not said many public things about Gamergate. I have tried to leave it alone, aside from a few at replies on Twitter that journalists have decided to use in their articles, citing me against the hashtag. Why have I remained mostly silent? Self-protection and fear. I have been through a lot in my years on the internet. I have encountered a small fraction of the attacks from people like the ones who currently represent the worst of this quote-unquote movement. And another snippet from later in the blog. I know it feels good to belong to a group, to feel righteous in belonging to a cause, but causing fear and pushing people away from gaming is not the way to go about doing it. Think through the repercussions of your actions and the people you are aligning yourself with and think honestly about whether your actions are genuinely going to change gaming life for the better, or whether they're just going to make someone cross the street away from you, and away from something, ironically, that we both love. This is another one of those videos with a long-winded wind-up and then a short point. Felicia Day wants freedom, absolute freedom to do what she wants, not be told she's representing everyone. Everyone should represent themselves, oh how beautiful. But she's saying that having previously deliberately denied people that courtesy as a weapon against them. You want to do something? You want to use a particular hashtag? Well guess what? I'm going to say you are aligning yourself with these people. These people represent you and you're responsible for gaming being represented like this and causing me fear and causing me damage and emotional harm. Hmm. Now it's been about a year, so. What well, sounds good? Yeah, we're all individuals. Oh, don't call me the queen of the geeks. I'm so modest. I just represent me. You should represent you. Everyone should represent themselves. You can't just say that a minority or an individual represents a whole group. And that's important in life. Does that make you feel good? Does that make me look nice? 
buy my book. Fuck yourself, and fuck your book. Felicia should really cross her fingers and hope that Joss, KKK Daycare Whedon, hasn't written anything that will be interpreted as offensive, because gamers and who represents them will then be the least of her worries. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.